Let's take a look at the second part of experiment 1. Determine the density of an insoluble solid and estimate the radius of the bead. If we want to use the same method to determine the density of a solid, we have a little problem. We cannot measure the volume of a solid directly. Let's take a look at the available device. A volumetric flask is provided. From the label, we can see that the measurements should have four six figures. However, volumetric flask can only provide one volume reading if a liquid is involved. More specifically, the total volume of whatever you put in is 50.00 milliliters. If we add an unknown solid and a liquid of known density into the volumetric flask to the mark, volume of the liquid plus volume of solid equal to 50.00 milliliters. If we can find the volume of the liquid we added, the volume of the solid can be calculated. Do you know how to get the volume of the liquid we added? Great! We use the density formula again. Remember, the density of the liquid is known. If you can find the mass of the liquid, you should be able to find the volume of the liquid. Do you know how to find the mass of the liquid? Yes. And do you know how to find the mass of the solid? Yes. So, the density of solid is equal to mass of solid and volume of the solid. Here is the recommended procedure. You only need to take three measurements. At the end, I want to ask you two questions. If we only add one or two beads to the volumetric flask, does it affect the accuracy of the results? Why? Question number two. If we assume that all the beads are identical and they are perfect spheres, can you estimate the radius of the bead? Have fun.